Sweet currants is something else. They sure love to shop. You said it. We're gonna shop till we drop. When I became of age, my mama called me to her side. She said, son, you're growing up now. Pretty soon you'll take a ride. But then she said, just because you become a young man now, there's still some things that you don't understand now. Before you ask some girl for a hand now, keep your freedom for as long as you can. My mama told me You better shop around Shop, shop oh, around yeah. You better shop around Shop, shop around There's some things that I want you to know now Just as sure as the winds are gonna blow now When they come and the women are gonna go now Before you tell them that you love them so now My mama told me You better shop around Oh, won't you shop around All right, that clown's real brassy. Yeah, I mean, sounds real classy. Uh, uh, can you help me? I'm Lenny Lettuce, and I've been looking all over the country for the king. What are we, solid peanuts? Buddy, we're the kings of rock and roll, the California Raisins. You are? Here's our two cool license. And our official registered trademark. Well, in that case, I hereby present you with this. It's our address, but I can't tell who it's to. The name is smudged. None of us is named smudged. Hear ye, hear ye. Be it known that the country of Luxembourg hereby announces that whoever this letter is addressed to has been proclaimed to be king. <laughs> You 
don't know which of us is supposed to be king? That's a high-level decision. They don't let me in on that stuff. This is just my part-time job. Being a king would be a blast. Yeah, don't be so sure, Double B. I caught a flick once about a king who really took a tumble. Hmm, that would be King Henry VIII or perhaps King George. Nope, King Kong. The Royal Jet will be arriving in six hours to pick you up. Royal Jet, that sounds cool. <laughs> what a goofy dude. Where does he get off thinking we want to be kings? Yeah, I bet it's hard work sitting on a throne all day. Having to wear a heavy, solid gold crown could be a real headache. Boys, did I just hear a horse go by? Yes, Mom. The man who was riding it wants one of us to be king. That's wonderful. Horses are such lovely animals. Hey, hey guys, I've been phoning all over the town looking for you. I've gone through three city phone books. What's up, Rudy? Uh, I forgot to hire a stage crew for your concert today. I'm sorry. Oh, swell. Don't worry. I know some dependable guys who'll be just perfect. Great. Uh, who? You know, I'm starting to think that being royalty isn't such a bad idea. You got that right. Like, when did you ever see Queen Elizabeth hauling her own music gear? I keep wondering which of us they want to be king. Not me. I wouldn't even know what to do. AC, you'd be a great king. Me? Sounds like it would interfere with my real vocation. Meaning? Keeping the coup. There's the Team B Club. We've got to unload fast. The show starts in less than an hour. I think this will look good for just my imagination. Okay, let's check it out. Get down, loyal dudes and dudettes. Your king has made the scene. It's time to boogie. Pardon me, your highness, but shouldn't your royal rumble seat be busy carrying in the props? You expect me, King Red the Cool, doing common labor? I have loyal subjects to do my bidding. Whoa, King Red is such a great guy. Yeah, letting us carry in all this important stuff. All the other fans will sure envy us. Over there, my dedicated subjects. You're something else, letting your fans do your work. Hey, they volunteer. Besides, I figure I better practice pointing my noble finger in case I do become king. Your slightest wish is my command. Here, let King Red carry those props for you. <laughs> Feast your eyes on what's happening out front. This is Dan Radish interrupting the President's press conference with an incredible, late-breaking story. Stretch, the wire services are buzzing with rumors that you may become King of Luxembourg. I can't imagine how those silly, ridiculous, unfounded rumors started. Hey, hey, the latest rumors! Hey, hey. Can you deny the rumors about becoming part of royalty? Absolutely. And if you don't believe me, just ask my good buddy Prince Philip. AC, my reliable sources say you're the one who'll sit on lots of beans throne. That's ridiculous. Really? But of course, being the raisins leader, you'll have no time to rule a country. Right. I mean, well, uh, I'm sure I could squeeze my royal duties in somehow. You heard it here first. Now back to the studio. At least Bebop hasn't gotten worked up about this whole thing. Look again. Each day through my window, I watch as she passes by. I say to myself, you're such a lucky guy.
That's some fantasy, Bebop. You know, the Royal Jet is waiting. Sounds like an adventure. Let's hit the road! I don't see any Royal Jet. <gasps> I guess it was too good to be true. Now, is that not a Royal Jet? Oh, man, check it out. Hell yeah! Yay! Hell yeah! yeah. Translux and Beam Airlines, flight number two. I'm Lenny Lennis, your part-time pilot. All aboard? Uh, uh, come and get it? Now, just come on in. Check it out. A freaked-out castle with wings. I've never seen such a fancy place. Yeah, and this is just the tourist section. Buckle up, we'll be taking off just as soon as I figure out how this thing works. <laughs> get me up. What's this doing again? <laughs> of your loyal subjects, I, the Prime Ministroni, welcome you to Luxembourg. Thanks. We really didn't expect all this. Let the parade begin! <laughs> sent us before the first commercial. You see? The name was smudged. Hmm. Oh, yes! But if you look real close, you'll see that it's addressed to occupant. Seven subjects. What are we gonna sit on? A throne or a couch? Yes, the more kings, the better. Especially after what happened to our other king. A short celebration. Well, this is a short kingdom, you know. Just a couple blocks, actually. Oh, 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 here's a gift for your highnesses. <laughs> Lady Zucchini is your most loyal subject. We need you desperately. Golly, we haven't had a steady king for years. What happened to your other kings? Oh, it was awful. Day. Quick, change the subject. <laughs> it has been so long since we had someone to rule us. Without a king, we don't know what to do. I think they're trying to keep something from us. <laughs> Alas, our kingdom is in disarray. Hopefully during your rule, however brief it may be, Lux and Beam will finally get back on its feet. <laughs> Prime Minister Rooney, alas, look what I found! <laughs> There's no time to lose! Let the coronation begin! <laughs> it is with great honor I crown thee, 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 and uh, thee! Well, what do I see? Yeah. Huh? Who said that? 
around to scare short people who have hiccups. Uh, we're having a little uh, problem. Uh, four heads and only one crown. I don't see any problem. Uh, didn't you know this is a special crown? Uh -huh. What size fits all? <laughs> hey, watch it. Who are you? I'm Sir Garlic Punk, but you can call me. Tournament he's talking about. Oh yes, yeah, tournament. Well, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a tradition that whoever is king has to fight a duel with Sir Garlic. It's for the honor of the kingdom. And Sir Garlic is such a meanie. No one ever has beaten him. Say what? Is that true? True? Well, uh, don't worry. Since there are four king, hopefully uh, one of you will make it. Odds are with us, and I do mean odd. Well, uh, nice meeting you. We enjoyed our visit, but we'll be going now. Oh, please stay! You're our last hope of freeing our country once and for all from garlic. You have your honor to think of. After all, you are our king season, season. <laughs> I suppose it's the least we could do. After that nice plane ride. And that swell parade. When does this tournament take place? <laughs> Whenever Sir Garlic wants. But put it out of your mind. Come, your castle awaits you. Whoa, what a nest. Like this is a primo pad and a half. These portraits are of all the kings who have ruled Luxembourg. Nice bunch of dudes. That's King Romain. He was the first and best king we ever had. If only we could find a true descendant, one who also has a heart shaped birthmark on his neck. All of our other kings have been uh, flops. Hmm. You know, there's something about that dude that looks awfully familiar. Let's prepare the royal chambers for our new king. Good idea. See you later. It boggles my mind to think that only this morning our home was our castle. Ooh, that's deep, man. Like ankle deep. I just saw something move over there. You're right. Someone sinister is snooping. I'm not snooping. I'm a part-time battler. And it's my fault you guys got into this mess. I'm such a ninny. I'll never do anything right. Don't worry about it. We can take care of ourselves. Not against Sir Garlic. Your only chance is to run. Man, the California raisins do not slink away into the night. Let me put it this way. Sir Garlic has been undefeated in over 5,002 matches. Let's, Let's get, get slinking. This way. Come on, guys. Watch out for booby traps. This is neat. We ought to have a tunnel like this under our house. Careful. That may be a trap. Good thinking, Stretch. Well, now we're completely lost. Not yet. Look over there. Two doors. But which one do we choose? Let's try the door on the right. No, it's gotta be the other door. Where are we? We must be miles from the castle. You went the wrong way. This is the castle courtyard. Great. Now we'll have to escape all over again. There's no escape from me. I'd say it's time we got this door over with. Sir Garlic. Can't you see we're non-violent raisins? Right, man. We're peaceful. We're friendly. We're seedless. The duo. Not another one. Oh, no. I have a feeling we better send out another bulk mailing. Use your weapons. We already have our best weapon against evil and badness. Well, it won't work. Whatever it is. But what is it? What do our music? You can dance. Every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile, you can smile, every smile for the man who held your hand with the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and then who's on joke gonna be. Don't you know I love you so? I love you so. Yes, you feel it when we die. I will never, never let you go. I love you so much. So much.
Thank <laughs> you. 